we are going to cook uh, cassava and uh, so you take the cassava what you do is you know the cassava pieces and to make it uh, cutting and uh, make a small small pieces um, and take the middle vein out of it uh, once you take the middle vein out of it uh, cut them into small small pieces Then we will cook them with the onion, curry leaves and chilies and also we are going to biltong. We are going to add some biltong, it's equivalent to dry fish, that's a good combination. Hope, you know, that will be a great addition. This is the first time that we are going to use um, uh, biltong, cook them with the cassava or manioca and uh, so we will we shall wait and see to make the the cassava soft and creamy that we have added the uh, cassava there and also we have added the onion and uh, chilies and the curry leaves um, in a small pressure cooker and we are going to add the the chili powder, the roasted chili powder, half a teaspoon, and also we are going to add the uh, salt, and uh, we will add a little bit of uh, uh, turmeric powder too. So yeah, we are adding the salt water. So we put the water into the salt, uh, rock salt. So we are adding uh, uh, and uh, we will be adding a uh, uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder Then we are also going to add a little bit of oil, uh, not oil, water there, then we will cook it. Uh, using the, the pressure cooker. We are tempering the onion and dry chili and the curry leaf and um, uh, uh, and also we will be adding the fennel seeds and mustard seeds. Uh, this tempered spices will be added to the, uh, the cassava curry that we have already cooked. You can see that it's looking great and uh, so that's the uh, end of the process uh, in cooking. Uh, we have added the coconut uh, uh, milk cubes so that's a uh, coconut milk cubes that then also we are going to add the, um, the garlic we don't add the ginger with the cassava uh, traditionally considered to be a not very good combination and then we are going to uh, add this um, biltong so we are adding the biltong um, so right now we are adding the fennel seed for the temporary and also we are going to add the mustard seed this is the tempering is a traditional method of uh, adding the additional flavor uh, to the uh, when you cook uh, cassava curry now we have mixed uh, the cooked cassava curry with the tempered spices and all looking great That is the beautiful, creamy, nicely cooked uh, cassava curry, spicy curry. We are cooked with the onions and garlic and curry leaves and tempered with the uh, you know, dry spices and looking very great, very colorful. Thank you very much for watching this uh, very traditional 
uh, and traditionally cook uh, cassava or manioca curry very aromatic and appreciate your subscription to our youtube channel and also we have uh, thousands of videos on food and uh, we encourage you to watch our channels and increase our viewing hours thank you